Ever pondered why the Philippines, a nation rich in natural resources and cultural diversity, is ensnared in the clutches of poverty? The answer, dear listener, lies in the shadows of its colonial past. The Philippines, a Southeast Asian country of over 7,000 islands, has a history marked by foreign rule. First, it was the Spanish who, in the 16th century, claimed the archipelago as their own, imposing their culture, religion, and economic structure. For over 300 years the Spanish maintained control, fundamentally shaping the economic trajectory of the country. The Spanish colonizers introduced the encomienda system, a labor system where the indigenous population was forced to work on lands given to Spanish colonizers. This system unfortunately laid the foundation for an economy heavily reliant on agriculture, a legacy that persists to this day. The Spanish era was followed by American rule in the early 20th century. While the United States introduced public education and democratic institutions, they continued to perpetuate an economy anchored in agriculture and primary commodities. This was in stark contrast to other Asian nations that underwent significant land redistribution and industrialization. Fast forward to the present day, and the echoes of colonialism are still evident. The Philippines lacks a robust factory economy, with manufacturing making up only 17% of the national economy. This is a far cry from countries like South Korea, Thailand and China, where manufacturing forms a substantial part of their economies. The concentration of land ownership in the hands of a few wealthy families, another colonial legacy, further exacerbates the issue. Land disputes are rampant, with indigenous tribes often losing their ancestral lands to corporations and affluent individuals. This skewed distribution of wealth and resources contributes significantly to the high poverty rate and hunger prevalent in the country. Furthermore, the lack of manufacturing jobs forces many Filipinos to seek employment overseas, sending remittances back home to support their families. Those who remain in rural areas are often left with no choice but to work on plantations for the benefit of powerful landowners, a sobering reminder of the encomienda system. In conclusion, the colonial past of the Philippines has left a lasting impact on its economy. The heavy reliance on agriculture, the absence of a strong industrial base and the unequal distribution of land and wealth are all remnants of Spanish and American rule. They serve as stark reminders of how the decisions and policies of the past continue to shape the present and future of a nation. As we reflect on this narrative, it becomes clear that addressing poverty in the Philippines is not merely about implementing economic reforms. It's about reckoning with a history of colonialism and its enduring effects. It's about reshaping an economic structure that has, for centuries, favored the few at the expense of the many. It's about creating a more equitable and inclusive economy that truly serves the Filipino people. It's about time we acknowledge these colonial roots of Philippine poverty and strive for a better, more prosperous future. Tales from